Greetings and salutations. I'm Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Imperialism as the Nation of Phoenix. And we've done quite well. We've invicted our greatest rival, more or less, from the con from our own continent. Just two provinces left. Then this entire area will be ours, and they seem to be invading over there. Oh, that's not good. Uh, do, 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 do we have any extra artillery? I do move there now. And we need to start improving everything we have left. Yeah. Normally, I would uh, try to pursue a victory by Council of Governors, by having diplomatic relations, but in this game, it looks like we'll have to go by direct conquest. Uh, because we are losing out in the diplomatic race, I need to go here. Yeah, I'm gonna go and clear out the here, and then we're probably gonna move our, the bulk of our army over here and start invading. This stuff. I'm not sure I want to start invading here. Or over here with Paragon. I also want to see if... I, I do believe that if I conquer the province this way, uh, it will be mine and not part of the state that owned it originally. I could be wrong there, but I think that's the case. Oh well. Yes, I know they have a stronger fleet. I know they are doing just these very light invasions. Buy more coal. I can't buy much of it, but some. And deploy. What do they have? Almost nothing. I do not want to send in their artillery. Or the cavalry, I mean. Cavalry can wait. And now we can autoplay. Come on, why don't you pursue the artillery? Come on, go there and just destroy his units. Come on, there we go. More naval engagements. Yeah, their fleets are pretty darn strong. So I can't really face them directly. And it, all, it could suddenly turn out to be quite ugly, this. Uh, we got that one, that's good. And I launch a bit to Paragon. Yeah, that's to be expected, I guess. To Paragon. So they got another one. Boo. And you're gonna build a depot here, because it looks pretty. And we'll just keep going. Well, let's keep going here. Uh, we need to start thinking about upgrading all the extra artillery we have. Uh, oh, everything here has been upgraded. That's good. You're gonna move on the last little outpost. Just get him off my continent. My continent! And we need more rail cars. And quite a few of them. Ah. Okay, uh, you have one that do it left to train. Do that. I got back paper production. I'm building four of those, that's fine. Just make four. I am saving up for ironclads, but I kinda need to. Ah, oh, come on. Kinda need to deal with our rail capacity network. Um, we do have enough to spare for. No, not nine, my goodness, no. Uh, yeah, four more. I kind of need to train more people. Okay, so we have some steel ready. We have some we have timber ready. We have guns ready. We have coal ready. We just need a tech. Come on, ironclads. Everything else has shown up early. Why not you two? And I don't really need this power loom. So let's see. He is invading over here. Nowhere else? No? No, okay. Yes, I know he has a stronger fleet. Nothing I can do about it. 
So yeah, I, I could probably trade more, but the risk is supreme that they would just intercept them. So that's why I'm cutting back the trades to just the stuff I absolutely need. And he has almost nothing here. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep my cavalry from charging. And then we're going to autoplay. Good. And he retreated with that one, so this is over. The problem is, when, once you click the autoplay button, you can't stop it. So, you have to be certain that the AI will actually do what you think it'll do. <laughs> and it doesn't. Okay, so that's the end of that. We have our continent. But if the ironclads don't show up soon, we need to build more small ships. Which is kind of what I'm trying to avoid. Because ships can't be upgraded, unlike land units. No, they weren't enough to... Yeah, fleet was enough to get all of that stuff through, so that's okay. Issa submits to the Neb. Okay, the Neb has quite a few nations now. You stay there, and now the question becomes: uh, Do we? Can we? Can we do this? Can we send all our forces? No, thirty-one. So we can't send all our forces, but we can send quite a few. So. Um, I'm gonna send to two cursiers and six light artillery. Yeah, that seems okay. Maybe a few more. Uh, let's see, how many artillery units can I send? Don't they need some generals? They're kind of useless to me. Um, size 3, you need 6, not 4 size. Okay, so I count. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have you stationed right there for now. I do have the money and guns to upgrade stuff, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. Don't have enough food, I know. I'm trying to fix that. Okay, do that. We'll have... How much paper will we need next turn? We'll need eight units of paper next turn. Okay. So we're gonna make eight units of paper. I'm gonna save up money so that we can upgrade those guys. And add more to the workforce. And beyond that we need more steel, we need more railcars, we need more Transport capacity. We have enough timber. We do not have enough steel. I'm gonna make more rail cars. And I am thinking about upgrading our timber industry. I'm gonna do that. Gonna keep upgrading our industry. Gonna keep producing goods. Uh, we probably want to just sell goods because I need need some leeway up there. So now at war with both Issa and Eidlon. Yeah, he's gonna take both of those two nations. And then I've started trading with Brewer. Which is kind of bad. I just don't know if I want to invest money in it. Okay, we control 36 provinces directly. Three colonies have submitted to us, which is good. And we're now transporting troops over to Cathay. In the, just to see if we can free this little area. And especially destroy the little buggers that have destroyed us. Uh, yeah, we'll see if that works out. Naval invasions doesn't seem to be any other than the ones here. And two units of light artillery isn't much, but I think that's going to be enough. 
because they never actually seem to do much in terms of naval invasion. They don't seem too good at that. But I'm, I'm still just really hoping up for ironclads. Uh, I don't know when that tech will fire. It might not fire for another 10 years, for all I know. Um, so, there's that. Don't buy goods, just buy coal. More victories at sea. Still no engagements. Which is just as well. If the, we actually had an engagement, I probably would lose the bulk of my navy. It's all good. Morris has expanded. Good. And they seem to have stopped invading there. Yeah. Just stay put. And you, on the other hand. Hmm. So, what I'm seeing here are his defenders. Right. Uh, which I have not upgraded at all. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna have anything. And he's already built a port for me. How nice of him. And he's built a depot. Unfortunately, that means he can't ever access this tile. Unless he goes all the way around. Is that and the same thing is for me because ah uh, yeah bad deployments there ah uh, well we're gonna invade and see what happens more goods hmm yeah we're gonna still we're gonna need to keep increasing our transport network and. Everything. Uh, yeah, I'm, mom I'm momentarily distracted that <laughs> the cat come, came in. And the cat wants attention. Then it becomes very hard to do anything at all. Because they kind of don't let you have your hands free. Come on, go away, kitty. No. Okay. Uh, she decided she wanted food. Okay, so... Okay, more industry. We probably want the more rail cars first. Ah, uh, don't like that being so short of steel. But we should still have some warning once we actually get the next tech level for the artillery stuff. And take level for the gun for the naval stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. And now it says we need more timber too. Yeah, I know, but I'm not gonna do anything. I think if I manage to actually exploit all my continent, that's gonna be fine. My main concern right now is to secure enough votes that the combined block here can't win. Because that's my greatest fear right now. We have 36 votes, guaranteed, and we have some more votes thanks to our small provinces there, so I don't know. So yeah, I think I'm going to try to invade here and clear this continent out, and then we're going to move up here and see if we can invade there. That's going to be much harder, because that's going to mean actually getting troops up there. Hmm. Or I can just button down here and see if I can win with just industrializing my own continent. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah, we are attacking there. Deploy. That's fine. He should not have much at all. No, he doesn't. He has nothing. Okay, then you can just stay there. Uh, I think it's safe to autoplay this. Okay, so he got lost, and now he's deploying defensive troops. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to save you, buddy. Uh, autoplay. Kill him.
an Audion is still being a pain in the arse. I am kind of tempted to make a naval engagement. Which I potentially could. And yes, the province belongs to us now. That's unfortunate. Not what I was hoping for. And you finished building that. Good. It's going to spur some industrial growth in that town. Uh, oh, there's a coal up here. So I need a rail depot there. I think. Yeah, these are connected. These aren't. Yeah, here and there. Yeah. We are tying the country together. It's going to take a long time for us to actually succeed in this, and I think they were trying to invade there now. Yes? Enemy beachhead report, yeah, that's who don't sit yeah, they're going there. Um let's see. Yeah, four of the artillery units and two of the cursiers and one of the generals. I'm gonna relocate back to our hometown. Oh we can't, okay. Okay, uh, d -d 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 got two artillery units. Move that. No. Oh, darn. Ah. Stupid. Two of the girls here is one of the generals, two of those guys. You move uh, back to home port. Stay there for now. I just want to see. The question now is, will the Neb put a ton of troops on Devron, is it? Put a ton of troops here? I think they will. I think they would. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do there. For now, rail capacity. Need 12, so why aren't you transporting that? Ugh. Still in more red cars? My god. Train those. We have how much paper? Four units. So next unit, next turn we'll need 16 units in total. We have four, so we can make 12. That's enough. We need more steel. Building. Yeah, we're doing that as much as we possibly can, and we are running out of iron at this point. Our stockpile is dwindling away, and we have far more textiles than I thought, so... Actually, just ah, do that. 16 textiles, we're not producing, we're producing more than that. Ah. Okay, increase the clothing factory another level. We're gonna have plenty of guns. So, do I... I have two choices. I can either wait for ironclads and build tons of them, or I can build a much larger navy right now. I'm very torn on this. You know what? Screw it, we're gonna build a navy right now. Six more ships of the Rhine. And six more raiders. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna spend what little I have left to make more rail cars. And I didn't have enough timber now. Really? Okay. Uh, you are producing all everything you can, so are you, so are you. Yeah, I don't have timber. 
And I don't want to use the steel for more guns. All the units are upgraded. At least here. Um, I could train an even larger military, but I don't want to do that now. Because I think we have uh, in enough of a military for our purposes. Okay, we're gonna do this and now we're gonna start rebuilding. Yeah, wait a second, was there any naval elevation that I wasn't paying attention to? Uh, yeah, you're going to Richmond, that's the only one. That's fine. Go. Yes, 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 yes. At this point, we kind of need to start getting more resources. I don't know. And we're being attacked by one siege artillery. He's gonna retreat, I'm fairly certain. Or we're gonna just gonna kill him. Even better. And there were a lot of piracy going on. One of them actually succeeded. And that's not good. If one of them succeeded, that's a sign of something very, very bad. Yeah, he killed that one. Did you said piracy? No! Okay, I saw it wrong. It wasn't like Skull and Crossbones. So all of them were beaten back. Yeah. Six raider ships on the line, that's fine. Uh, new exciting technologies, yeah, yeah, yeah. None that I really care about. I just want to make darn sure I have all the Bells and vessels connected. Okay, we have... We need to connect a few more cities. You are not connected. That port is not connected. Uh, let's connect him first. Uh, and you are here and uh, not upgraded. Okay, upgrade the units we have left. I kind of have to do that. And you're going to defend the capital. And you are just going to defend here. Because he's trying to invade. And it's not going to succeed. I can always... Yeah, can I move you over here? And do the rest of the invasion? I'm going to do that. And just wait for the next of the troops. He's probably redeploying a sizable army there. That's fine. A lot of more ships. So... I have a lot of ships now, but I'm kind of hesitant in trying to break the blockade. Though we could probably do that at this point. And that's all the units we want to train, and we don't need more paper. Uh, I still don't have a... Actually, I still don't have a... Uh, Forester at all. So let's train one of those. We could even use another engineer, really. And another miner. And that's a lot of experts, though. Uh, forester and an engineer. I'm gonna build a lot of railroads. So I want to do that first. We are short of timber, I know. We can't really deal with that. And now we need more guns. And steel, and everything. Okay, make more raid cars. And trade more recruits. Just a few. I suppose we could open embassies with these countries, but nah. And the Nebbe has already done that. Yeah, the Nebbe is definitely playing the diplomacy game. Definitely. Um, 
I'm going to try to make peace with them one more time. Very much doubt any of them are going to be interested. I'm just not strong enough yet. Yeah, pretty much you have to defeat them completely. You have to sink their entire navy and blow up their army and threaten their capital. Then, then they'll not negotiate peace. Not a moment before. Okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to train up more tree people and we have naval invasions that are only in Woden City. Yeah, that's okay. Next turn we're going to see if we can invade over here. I expect that he'll... Yeah, he panicked and tossed everything we had at Dead City. And of the nearby he definitely sent in his units here. Oh well. I need to start thinking about buying resources, but there aren't many nations left to settle Celos resources. And all of the blockades that went okay. By the looks of it, I didn't sink any of the ships, did I? Nope. 41 ships now. I am tempted to try something. Something risky. Well, of course, that always pays off, right? Yeah. So, the third engineer would. No, not gonna build the forts just yet. I kinda still want to tie our country together and collect more resources. There's some gold and stuff down here. And there are more resources down here. Ugh. So many resources I want. Mm, these are not connected. That's not connected. Hmm. Uh, go here, maybe, and build a raid network there. No. Go there, build a raid network, and then down there afterwards. Yeah, that seems like a better idea. Go there. And you're still defending. That's fine. You have a ton of units. He has a ton of units. Defending. I don't know if we can actually do this. Uh, do I have... No, we can do a probing attack. Why not? More rail cars are needed. Ah. Okay, next turn. How much paper will I need next turn? I'll need eight units of paper. So we're gonna make eight units, six units of paper. The rest are gonna go into lumber. And we're gonna make more rail cars. I'm just. Okay, that now we're out of steel. Which is not good. So now, probably now we're going to get the next tech. <laughs> but yeah, I'm considering going three turns with no bids and no sales whatsoever. And see if I can send my fleet out and engage these bastards. Yeah, I'm going to do that. This is probably a very bad idea. And the problem is it's going to take many, many turns for this to go through. First I have to go out there, then I have to actually t start a patrol, and then I have to go another turn. So it'll be three turns where I'm making absolutely no money and I can actually get absolutely no resources in. And that's the risk. Uh, but at this point, I want to take it because I want to sink their ships and start using my navy. 
So we're gonna try. Yes, I know. And we are trying to attack him. Yeah, that's okay. He has one, two, three, four, uh, no, no, three artillery units and a ton of infantry. I think this is an engagement worth trying, so we're gonna move our units forward. Just until the breach line. So that he can't attack me this turn. And yeah, I want to conquer this continent, because why not? I can. And that's a few more votes in my favor. So that I can at least be assured that I won't lose, which is kind of what I'm worried about now. Not so much about winning, but okay, he's retreating. Will he move his artillery? He will move his artillery. Very good. Um, I don't need the cavalry then. You can stay put. You guys can... Oh, that guy can actually fire. Uh, not anymore. Yeah, I think it's safe. Just go straight ahead and we're going to try to kill this artillery before they escape. Don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. Uh, we got some of them. Don't think we have the range for the siege gun, but that's okay. Kill the infantry, at the very least. Yeah, that's not going to have enough range for the siege gun. Ugh. Boo. No, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Come on. No. Okay, so there, and uh, then we just... And I can't hit autoplay because... He considers that an active defensive unit, so... That is unfortunate. Did you get range? You got range! Wonderful! So at least we damaged one. And now he's counterattacking. Which is what I want, and he's only counterattacking with... That's what, that's all. Oh boy. I should have just attacked, but that's okay. Kaboom. Move forward, destroy. There we go. Lovely, so we killed his Minutemen, yeah, and two of his artillery units, and one of his riflemen. Which is okay, and we lost nothing, and we killed one artillery on the return fire, which is good, and we lost 6,000 gold this turn. So yeah, that's the problem. They, what I'm trying to do here now is a bit expensive. Not gonna lie. And doubly so, because I still need to invest in things. That costs a fortune, so yeah. Uh, naval invasions are now going on over there, so move there. Um, let's see, he should panic and move troops to those two locations. That is my hope, at the least. Um, I don't know. Nope. Leroy. Go straight ahead. And we're gonna patrol here and see if we can capture some ships. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but I'm, I just wanna try. I'm getting tired of that blockade. I'm so getting tired of being balled in, uh, walled in like that. Uh, and we are almost. We almost have enough rails, and that's gonna cost money too. Okay, uh, cut back paper production to just a minimum. Everything into lumber, and we are making goods. Very good. Yeah, not buying coal is going to hurt us a lot. Not selling goods is going to hurt us a lot. I mean, we're stockpiling a ton of goods right now. 
And I could use that time to recruit, but now... I'm gonna give this a few turns. Then we're gonna move the fleet back. If it fails... Yeah, that's the only one he's invading, so that should be okay. Let's see if we can actually find Kili's fleet. It's gonna be interesting. Auto deploy here, and they have way too much artillery for us. Uh, yeah. Pull back. That is just not gonna happen. Oh no! Oh no! See this? He can't actually retreat. He'll get blown to bits. Uh, yeah, uh, that's the end of one artillery. And that is why you're probably just one unit instead of... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose an artillery unit for my stupidity here. Probably, I don't think he's gonna be able to retreat. He's gonna destroy it next turn. Because he's in, he, that unit is in retreat, but yeah. No, okay. Stupid, stupid, stupid me. And... Oh, now they get that tech. Of course, now that I'm... Ah, for Pete's sake. I keep waiting for that tech and it shows up at the least opportune moment, as always. Okay, we have to connect our towns. He's not invading there anymore. I'm not invading anywhere. Okay, just stay put. And you... Well, we couldn't take his capital, that's gonna be too defended. So, let's take the other ones. Okay, so now we need... What? Ah, other than money. Okay, so the patrol didn't work. It definitely looks like he just can't find them. So you're gonna return to port. So next turn I'll be able to actually trade again. Uh, I need to... Oh, and I can't afford it. Okay, so now I'm gonna be delayed two turns to build ironclads. At the very least. I'm gonna build another batch of clipper ships. Because we're going to need a huge merchant navy after this. And we need to repair now anyway. Um, cut back all, yeah, all of that. Timber. We need timber. We need desperately need steel. We desperately need guns. I don't recall the exact cost. We do need coal. But I can't buy any coal. I can increase the production of cloth. Which I'm going to do. I don't dare increase the production of anything else. Which is kind of sucky, because now we have a lot of labor that isn't doing anything. Uh, screw it, build raid cars. And I can't do anything here until next turn, and then next turn after that we can buy the tech, and next turn after that we can find out what we can actually do with it. Uh, yeah, so this was a bad gamble on my part. We shouldn't have tried to break the blockade. Okay. Oh, and I've been playing for far too long again. I need a short break, so thank you for watching, and I hope you'll continue to do so, because now we're going to build ironclads and maybe, maybe, build a fleet capable of breaking the blockade. We'll see. Thank you for watching.